So Ryan shared a very similar thing. He said he's got this system in his office place where he manages and um, he's got a whiteboard and the whiteboard simply says to do and every single time something comes up he writes it on the to do and then everything gets a grading of a b and c and he has a little placard on his desk so that people can look in the office window and they can see is he working on an a task a b task or a c task a task is like this needs to be done, it's main priority, and you cannot interrupt me unless it's another A task. Yeah. An A task would be like the tr the delivery truck broke down on the parkway. That's an A or task. writing a sermon for you. Right. Like, I'm focused on this sermon, don't interrupt me. Right, we have to record the podcast on Monday, that mm -hmm. kind of idea. Um, B task is something that's important, but it needs to be done by the end of the week. And then C task is something that I really don't need to know about unless everything's done, like we don't have enough Red Bulls in the cooler. Mm -hmm. And so he said... People know if I'm on an A task or a B task and you come and interrupt me because you said we were going to have a Skittles in the vending machine, I'm not going to be happy, you yeah. know? And he said, also, then I know I get done my A task and then I can look at the board and I know, is there another A task? Can I start working on B tasks? Mm. And so it's very similar yeah. to a bullet journal. It's just that it's a big whiteboard in his office instead of a piece of paper that he carries around. I think that's great. So take these things if you have a if you have a uh, a thing that works for you some sort of system that keeps you organized let us know in the comments let us know we'd love to, to try it out or tell some people about it but use these things um like bill said uh we don't want to be choked out by the worries of the world um so same thing with your time with your finances with your you know mm. with your talents all these things we need to be stewarding them well for the kingdom. So, so I don't think this is a non-spiritual issue that we no, talked about today. Because I think it's, it's very spiritual. And yeah. I just thought when you said that, it made me think of something. Um, I once heard a quote that a budget tells your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Yeah. And a schedule, similarly, tells your time where to go instead of wondering where you where it went. That's great. And so those are, those are tools of the enemy to derail you. And so just be aware of that.